Hello guys and welcome back to the 8th episode in my Rebuilding Brighton series where we have just beaten Derby at home 3-1 and it has helped us clinch the league title. There is the confirmation of it and we'll go take a look at the table. We are 6 points above Southampton. I think they lost their latest game. They slipped up and we have taken full advantage of it. 99 points with one game to go. We are the champions of the Skybet Championship. Very happy with the performance from the boys. And uh, I have to say, I, I didn't expect it. And I'm certainly very happy to have come this far with a group that got me relegated last season. Well, I got them relegated, to be fair. And uh, now we're going back up to the Premier League as champions with some silverware around our necks and in our trophy cabinet. We'll see you guys for the last game of the season. More of a ceremonial game. And uh, we'll make sure that we're able to get 100 points in this league and beat Charlton on the last day of the season. Here is the lineup going into the final game of the season. Ben White's on the bench because he picked up a bit of a knock, but he will certainly be making an appearance for the last game of the season. It'd be completely unfair to leave such a enthusiastic part of our side out for the last game, as he's done so much to help us win the title. And 100 points is where things stand. What an accomplishment from the boys. I really didn't expect us to get to that level. We really have worked hard to get to this point, and as long as we can come away with a win in this game, I'll be happy with how the season has gone overall. Obviously, even if we lose this game, I'll be happy with how the season has gone, but this would be the cherry on top. Just a nice wee win, or even a draw, to get us a, a 100 points, which is just a really nice landmark for the side. They are getting some attacking chances, Charlton, but we are closing them down pretty well, and I think we are going to have an attacking chance of our own as Cataldi picks up the ball. Tries to put a good ball in, but it's not quite getting to the right area. Bernardo puts a ball in. He's just signed a new contract for us, so hopefully he makes it worth his while by playing very well next season in the Premier League. I'm not thinking about getting rid of him anytime soon. As Charlton hit the post, well, I'm just yarning about absolutely nothing. Maybe I should be focused on the game more. I'm kind of just chatting to you guys instead of actually focusing. I feel like this is a game that we should be winning none, uh, no matter what, to be honest. Still no goals to speak of, 35 minutes on the clock, and we need to be picking it up, although this match really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. We want to end it on a high note, and I will tell the boys that I'm not happy with their performance. Cataldi's on a 7, as he always is. He's actually been nominated for the Player of the Year, I believe, when those uh, media coverage things come out saying who they tip to be the player of the year. He was the only person in our side that was uh, looking likely to be player of the year. And I think that that's fair enough. Cataldi's been playing really well, amazingly solid. And I don't know why I didn't give him, give him the captain's armband. I kind of regret giving Ramos the captain's armband because I'm really thinking about replacing him straight away next season. So Cataldi will probably end up being our captain from next year out as long as he's got some solid... Uh, leadership and uh, teamwork stats, which I think he does. We do have a chance to score here, and we do. Mayoral with an assist, Kusins with the goal, and now we can relax a little bit more, chill out, and just ride out the last game of the season. Puts us up to 102 points in the league, and uh, doesn't as much of, have as much of a ring as 100 points, but two more points is definitely not going to kill anyone. We're happy with that nonetheless. Mayoral gets another goal to help his attempts at getting the golden boot, and Kusins gets another assist to help him gain the most assists in the league. So that's what we want to see in the last game of the match. Getting some goals, getting some assists for the people that need it to uh, get some achievements, get some accolades at the end of the season. Ben White's going to come on just like I said he would. Not that uh, Clark's done anything wrong this game, just because I want to rotate it and make sure that Ben White actually gets a chance to play the last game of the season and celebrate the win with the boys because he has been an instrumental part of our side and he's developed really well this season. Bailly is looking a bit tired, so maybe I should have brought him on for Bailly, but I think he'll survive for the rest of the game. Gray can come off because he's not having the best game ever for uh, March, and I'll probably make one more change later in the game, and that will most likely be Bellingham. 
and uh, right now I don't feel like I have anything to say just sit back relax watch the end of the season and be very happy with how the boys have done my player of the season would probably have to be Cataldi I would give it to Cataldi he's been really good really solid and I'm pretty stoked with him especially because he didn't play that well for us in the Premier League. He's bounced back and he's shown some amazing talent in that central defensive midfield position. He picks up the ball here and plays a really good ball to March. He might even get an assist. Yes, he does. Just as I'm praising him, saying how good he is for us, he gets an assist and that is exactly why we need to keep him around next year. He's got some serious interest from other clubs. I don't think he will want to leave and go to any of them. None of them big clubs like uh, Juventus or AC Milan or anything like that. But uh, some Italian clubs, so if he wants to go home, that might create a bit of an issue. But I think he is pretty happy here. The dressing room atmosphere is really good, and uh, I think that we're going to have a good side going into the Premier League next year, and a good amount of money if we do want to make some changes. Cataldi on the ball again, playing it out to Frimpong, who's going to whip a ball in. No, actually just plays it back to Cataldi, and now we score one last goal to end the game. 4-0, Mayoral with the goal, Bellingham with the assist, and that is his first contribution to a goal in uh, the league since signing Bellingham doing really well with a pretty easy pass to Mayoral I think it might have been a shot to be honest but it's uh, been turned in by Mayoral and that helps him probably win the golden boot at the end of the season now and there is the final whistle confirmation that we have won the league we don't get to see us lifting the, the cup but I'm very pleased with the boys performance and that is it the end of the season we'll wait until the simulation is over and go onto the table just to confirm the win the great season that we've had there we are 46 games played 102 points six points away from everyone else we have done amazing this year. Mayoral does finish as the top goal scorer. Cataldi as the second highest average rating and Cousins as the most assisters. I did really want to sign Big Lear, but he has gone, did go to Huddersfield and had a really good time there, obviously. And uh, I'm very happy with how the team's gone. And I'll meet you guys back for the season awards and then we will wrap up the season in a very positive way. After a lot of simulating, we have some league awards. Here is confirmation that Mayoral has won the Golden Boot. 25 goals in 43 appearances. Very well played by the man. Cousins has won Young Player of the Year, which is certainly deserved in my opinion. He has done nothing wrong all season. A slow start, but I'm certainly pleased with that. I have won Manager of the Year. I think that is pretty fair and I'm happy to accept that award. Um, the board are very pleased that I managed to win that and here are the players that have been named in the players team of the year. Mayoral, Cousins, Gray, Frimpong, Bai, Bernardo and Ramos. Very good stuff and I'm happy that the team is getting the recognition that they deserve. I'll just check out who actually won the player of the year though. Player of the year went to Big Lear from Huddersfield. I think that's pretty fair enough. He had the highest average rating, and I imagine he did a lot for that Huddersfield side. The other team that's going to go up with us has now been confirmed, and it is West Bromwich Albion. There we go. And the teams that are going down from the Premier League, I actually haven't checked. I will check that all right now. Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest... And Sheffield United are all teams that we don't have to worry about next year in the Premier League. They've all been relegated. And we're going to simulate forward until we find out who has won our club's awards for the season. And that will wrap up the episode. Here we are, the end of season awards. And we have some new players in the all-time best 11. Gray, Mayoral, Cousins, Kumpazano, Gyro, Bernardo, White, Bai, Frimpong, Ramos... And Andone make up that side. Some new additions from White, Bai, Frimpong, Ramos, Cupizano, Cousins, Gray and Mayoral making up some big players from our season who have entered the realm of the best 11. I can't believe that Trossard hasn't made his way onto it. That's just my opinion that he, I think he was better than 
gyro by quite a wee bit, but I guess the game feels slightly differently. The end of season awards have seen that Cataldi is in fact the player of the season for us. I couldn't agree more. He has played so well and played so consistently. I'm stoked with him playing for us and I can't wait to see how he does in the Premier League next year. Trossard with the goal of the season, which we will check out right now. Against Huddersfield, playing it up to Trossard, skips past one player, goes on a bit of a run that we all know he loves to do, and takes a shot from nowhere near where you'd expect him to be scoring. A great hit, goes top corner, and that is certainly the goal of the season. I can't agree more. Kusin, signing of the season, and the young player of the season, I agree with that completely. What a signing, and what a player. And top goal scorer mayoral, highest average rating Cataldi, most assist Cousins, best pass completion Ramos, most player of the match awards Cataldi and Gray. Don't forget that Gray also had an amazing season for us. And Bernardo with 14 yellow cards. That's a lot. Season review, very pleased with how the season's gone. Won the Skybet Championship, lost in the semi final of the FA Cup. Who? Uh, was actually won by Liverpool, who beat Manchester United in the final. And this is the the expectations for next year. And we'll take a look at this. A lot of new stuff. We'll check it out. Do not sign players over the age of 30. I can do that. All of that seems pretty doable for me. I'll try and get rid of the youth setup one, though, because I just don't like to have that pressure on me. Uh, they want me to, next season... Finish mid-table. Wow, that's a bit of a challenge. I know that we have a good team, but that's not the most doable thing I've ever heard of. But I think we can do it. But normally the board under, you know, undersells what they think you can actually do. So that's a little bit of a worry for us next season. But we do have a great team. We're going to end this with a uh, end of season chat. What should I say to the boys? I'll say, I'll say. We can finish mid-table, and they've reacted very well to that. I think they're on the same page as me. I definitely do think we can finish mid-table, but I just don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. That is the end of the season, and what a season it has been. We're going to take a look at the table to end it, and uh, we're going to say thank you so much for watching us throughout the season, and I can't wait to get back into the Premier League where we belong, and... Uh, yeah, actually get this series back on the right track. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you has have you if if you have enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the Premier League.